I think every single person has an opportunity to participate in this. And in our own lives, all of these things also exist. And so this can be your own commemoration. Uh, but this is a wonderful, really, our uh, project itself, uh, already collaboration. And then uh, coming uh, to that, again, Jerry and me, and then uh, a lot of wonderful community people. Again, just the idea will not produce that. It's not only a sculpture that people are going to come to look at, it's a sculpture where they can participate. They can actually learn something new. They can create their own sculpture with their own two hands. Hi, my name is Mary McGuire Lerman, and I'm the horticulturist with the Minneapolis Park and Recreation Board. This afternoon, we're visiting Lindale Park Peace Garden here near the shores of Lake Harriet. But a lot of people are not totally certain about the history of this garden. It was originally called the Lindale Park Rock Garden, and it was built back in 1929 and 30, when about 350 ton of a rock called Oneota Dolomite was hauled to this site by train and then by horse cart from the downtown Milwaukee Depot down here and literally tumble down the hillsides. Here in the, in the Peace Park every year on August 5th, 6th, we have commemoration ceremonies to remember the bombings in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan. And the reason for that is that we have a special peace bridge that was dedicated in 1985 by the mayor and the citizens of Minneapolis. At the south end of this bridge is the Hiroshima Peace Stone that came from the citizens of Hiroshima. It was once part of a balustrade of the Motoyasu Bridge near the Peace Park or what's near downtown Hiroshima. The Peace Bridge has such an interesting story about how the Japanese believe evil spirits only walk in straight lines. So that if you have a bridge like this and you're walking away from your stress from work, that evil spirit that hide, or that follows so many of us you can just step sideways, you can continue, and the evil spirit will fall over and drop in the drink. Um, on this bridge, we have special stones, as mentioned earlier. This is the Hiroshima Peace Stone on the south end, and on the north end, we have the Nagasaki Peace Stone. One of the goals during this 60th commemoration of the bombings in Japan is to restore, in a sense, but actually replace the original Peace Bridge here. Uh, the uh, unusual frost heavings that occurred during the drought years of 1988-89 pushed the footings of this bridge out and it has been slowly eroding, decaying, and the plan is to install a fabulous new bridge that will be a little bit longer and a little bit wider to make it easier for families that have strollers, for people that are in wheelchairs, um, to traverse the, the bridge, to make the side cross so the evil spirits do not follow them. And Kinji Akagawa and Jerry Allen of MCAD, which is the Minneapolis College of Art and Design, have created a fabulous new design on the same theme, but it's an east meets west bridge. I sort of was teased by the idea, architecturally, of doing it out of steel. What would a contemporary one look like? Uh, stone, of course, but again, uh, I knew the cost would be. So it was between the steel and the wood, and then after a while I thought, uh, no, it, it really, the people have a real affection for this element, and there's something about wood that is very human, and when you touch it, and uh, Kinji spoke very poetically, it ages, and I think that there's things about memories that age. Uh, age reflects also the fact that um, there's a maturity, but then an often an opportunity for youth and new beginnings. My part is uh, uh, introducing uh, I, uh, this uh, Ipe. Wood is uh, this one, and uh, Ipe comes from Australia. This is one of the hardest uh, our outdoor wood material we can use. The very long-lasting wood that I have recommended. And in the center, we have the local stone. Again, our being to use the local stone was one of the very important part of uh, this project for me personally. And the black one is called the Cold Spring Black. 
Uh, it's a diamond finish. And another one right near there, Rockville is a small town right next to Cold Spring, and this stone comes out. So uh, these are the two stones. Again, this is to give the uh, much more quiet, calm uh, experience of in the center. So these side by side. Again, black and white is somewhat uh, ceremonial. It's a very formal kind of, uh, from Japanese tradition too, like a black and a white is a very formal tradition of mourning. Uh, plus the copper on the side is another celebration of uh, kind of aging and the time for. That is a kind of three different mixture of experiences. So again, it's a celebration of to looking towards the future, not the past only. This year on October 5th, we will be erecting the Spirit of Peace sculpture here. And it's fashioned by Caprice Glazer, which is a vertical sculpture showing some of the steps in folding a crane. It will look out towards the lower part of the garden. It will be seen from any location within the garden. And it will have a horseshoe shaped section of boulders, approximately 14 of them surrounding the sculpture, each with a bronze plaque, each plaque showing one of the steps in folding an origami peace crane. The goal of the sculpture is to really express that this is a paper folding um, origami peace crane and it's not to be made out of metal, it's to be made by every individual that comes into the peace garden. This is the sculpture and it creates a, a visual inspiration, I hope, for the people folding the cranes. This sculpture is designed with the idea of the globe on the bottom. It'll have continents designed into the surface of the sphere. This is the various selection of steps that will take you up to the finished peace crane at the top, which is here. But different than this model, the base will be a natural stone to about here. This area will be bronze, and it will be an area for participants to take part in the sculpture, similar to the bridge having collaboration and involvement by many, many people. The contributors to this piece will be able to make a selection of a word of peace that will be engraved on this part of the base of the sculpture. This is a garden that people accept beyond belief. Many, many people will come there and share the experience and as a result find out they too are artists. The money raised from Japan and then here and then labor being used uh, here and uh, over there. I really think uh, this is the, uh, one of the best sample of maybe public art which I'm committed to. What bridges have you made? What connections would you like to do? What would you like to bring peace to? Uh, what are unfinished ideas that needs to be regenerated again? I think every single person has an opportunity to participate in this.